hi my loves welcome or welcome back to yet another video if you are new on this channel and if you are a returning sabi thank you so much for popping back by so on today's video as you guys can see by the title i am going to be doing an updated applications process video and i'm going to really keep it very short sweet and straight to the point unlike my first applications video or process video um where i really touched on on a lot of components and i was really in depth and in detail about a lot of things but for this video i'm not going to do that because i believe that with all the information that is out there on the internet and also with the information that i've been sharing on my platforms i believe that you guys have an idea of what to expect from now on moving forward but also for those who are new here who just stumbled upon this video and are just pretty much looking for any updates on the application process and what to look forward to currently when applying to come and teach in Taiwan then i will mention all the important details but i will just keep it very short and straight to the point so if you haven't subscribed already please do subscribe to my channel hit the notification bell so that you can get notified every time i post a video let's start with the requirements so the current very most important requirements that i needed from you when you're applying to come and teach in taiwan are your pcc which is your police clearance certificate as well as your degree and your sace certificate as well as your cv and your proof of vaccination so when it comes to your degree, your says, your TEFL, all of that. It depends on if you are either applying for the public school or the government school, or if you're applying to teach at a cram school. It also depends on the kind of qualification that you have. If you do have your bachelor's degree in education or your uh, PGCE, then you do qualify to teach in the public schools of to work for the government but then it means then you won't require they won't require you to have things like your TEFL but you do still need to have the things that I mentioned which is your PCC your degree your say CV as well as your proof of vaccination and then you are going to then process um, your application and then you will move on to the next step where they will require your demo teaching demo or even your self introductory video where you introduce yourself and that's when they want to obviously try to figure out the kind of person you are your pronunciation or your accent as well as um the kind of um, personality you have so that's when you really need to make sure that you draw their attention because that is going to um, help you secure the job so they will most likely going to conduct an interview with you after the interview then they are going to ask you questions like which schools do you prefer or which cities do you prefer then that's when you have to really express yourself when it comes to your likes your dislikes and things that you prefer and things that you think you'll be comfortable with and then after that process if there is a school that is interested in you based on your teaching demo which the agency is supposed to help you with like they are going to provide you details on what to prepare what to say or specifically just basically what to teach so you have to make sure that you really do your research and you work yeah you work smart and work hard to making sure that you lend yourself a job because after that the school is most likely going to offer you a job when the school offers you a job then you sign the contract to agree to the salary as well as the overall package your area and everything so that's also another important part where you have to make sure that you understand the contract that you are signing and then afterwards then they are going to process your application for a work permit after receiving your work permits you are then going to wait because um I think the waiting period for the work permit is like a week, a week to two weeks. Yeah, maximum 14 days. When you receive your um, work permits, then you need to use your work permits as well as your um, contracts to apply for a visa so when you apply for a visa they are most likely going to ask you to book your flights or to provide proof of flights 
um, that you have confirmed your flights and they can see in your bank statement that you have X amount of money. So during that time, remember in my other video that I did explain to you guys that if you want to like you know <laughs> if you want to get an easy way out of that situation then the advice is that first you print out your bank statement with the amount of money that you have which i advise for you to be to have at least prepare about twenty thousand rands or above forty thousand NT dollars and then you are going to print out the bank statement make sure that it has um the bank stamp the original bank stamp not the one that you get from the atm and then you are going to use that bank statement um and then book your flight so there's two ways to work the flight situation you can either book the actual flights uh immediately or if you still like trying to raise more funds then you can reserve a flight through flight centers or flights or travel agencies they are able to give you a confirmed book a booked flight or confirmed flight reservation so to do that i know that you have to pay around 500 rands i'm not sure if it's more than 500 rands now but you have to pay that and then they give you a time frame closer to the travel dates if you buy and book the flights then you just pay the difference from the 500 rands um if not then it means your money is going to obviously like be forfeited and stuff and then after that you have to start pack packing if you are not sure what to pack i do have a video um on my channel about what to pack and what to prepare when coming to taiwan and then um during the process of you packing and getting ready to come the side then your coordinator is going to contact you with regards to finding you an apartment during that process or during that step again you need to be sure that you choose a place that you know you are going to like a place that is not too far from your school and a place that is central to all the most important areas you might need example um a place where you know it's easy for you to find the supermarkets a place where it's easy for you to find public transportation and all of that and then um because there's no longer quarantine here in taiwan so it means that as soon as you land in taiwan you are going to move to your apartment so do make sure that you look for something that you can afford and also an apartment that you really really like because you are most likely going to spend like a year in that area or in that apartment also depending on the time frame that you arrive in taiwan and the logistics around your contracts as well as yeah basically your time frame when you arrive here and your contracts so after you come here then you go to your school so that you can like obviously start your work but when you start working they are most likely going to put you under a three-month prohibition that is to make sure that they have made the right decision because sometimes online you know you can sell people dreams and then when you come here and it's time for you to start working then you start slacking you're no longer doing your work you're not giving them problems and it gives them time to decide if they want to keep you in the school or if they want to let go of you and also it gives you time to decide if you want to stay with the school or if you want to change schools so make sure just that during the time you really put your best foot forward because remember you're not just re representing yourself you're not just there for yourself you're also representing the entire country so it says a lot about you where you come from and the reputation that you are leaving uh, behind because trust me if you are going to come and play then they will always remember that a south african teacher came here and did abc or a, a canadian teacher did this or an american teacher did, did that so you want to make sure that you really even if the situation or the conditions are not in your favor or based off favors but always try to make sure that you really leave a good um reputation behind for your country obviously after you come here and after you start working then the school is supposed to reimburse 
your flight tickets if you are going to be working for the public school they have to reimburse your flight tickets it also depends on the kind of contract you have some schools will say after a month some schools will say two three months four months in my school they say four months which is quite ridiculous to be honest because four months is quite a stretch like why that long you know but anyways um depends on the school and then they should give you back your money that you used to book your flights and then um if you like the school and if the school likes you then chances are you guys are going to decide to renew um the contracts and then you are still going to have a good long working relationship so it pretty much depends on you as a person it also depends on the kind of coordinator that you have it depends on the kind of agency that you have it also depends on the kind of school that you are going to be working with as well as the teacher that you are going to be working with and the students obviously but there's a lot of factors that determine if the job is good for you or not and it's important that before you travel to taiwan you are aware that your mental health and mental strength will be tested in many ways as well as how well you can cope with a lot of situations and dynamics so without wasting any more of your time i hope that you guys did enjoy this video um and we've come to the end of this video i will be uploading a vlog soon so do look out for that and if you haven't subscribed to my channel what are you still waiting for please do hit the subscribe button and if you are a returning sorry thank you so much again for your continuous support i will see you guys on my next video goodbye